entire world is taking the world by storm, but it always gets compared to one game in particular. Looks like a Pokemon. Parody of Pokemon. Veiled Pokemon clone. So similar to Pokemon. Pulling Pokemon with guns. Pokemon with guns. Now, I wanted to see how accurate this is by putting some strong culprits into a similar image program, like what you get when you click on an image on Google. I made this in Python and fed in every single Pokemon's base Pokedex image. The plugin I use is called Deep Image Searcher, went into TensorFlow and created all the hard work of creating an image neural network with weighted intervals. The network breaks the image down into a multitude of layers of common patterns, or, or so it should, from colour, shape and other similar themes. So it will be quite interesting to see what we find similar in comparison to this black box algorithm. Base generic images work better since I tested it on the wider database of the original 151 Pokemon and it didn't find anything useful, but it kept linking it to this weird cute picture of Pikachu and it was really annoying. It's safe to say some of the tests gave some interesting results. The first one I was personally interested in when playing the game was this Gyarados looking dude who was called Jorminitude. Jo Jor 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 and they actually thought Gyarados looked like it. Not only that, it also thought Subisun and Inteleon did. And you can kind of see the similarities, but not this weird thing. I, I don't know what this is. Honestly, it's best not to ask sometimes with this algorithm. In my opinion, the closest comparison that I actually made was called Balion and Pangolo. I mean, even the algorithm was like, come on, dude, just pick a different shade of blue. Just neural network isn't the most perfect thing to be honest because you would think Green Monkey A would also look like Green Monkey B but the algorithm said no. I mean at least show a monkey, there's like a billion different monkeys in Pokemon. I don't know what half of these Pokemon are. It did find these similarities when I was scrolling through and to be honest, come on Power World, what are we doing here? Kremis, funnily enough, which everyone says looks like Eevee VMAX, didn't show up but it did see Vaporeon so I think it can see something in its eyes. Generic Wolf also looks like Generic Wolf from 2004, even so much so that it showed up twice. Now remember, this isn't the first time this has happened to Pokemon, you've also got Digimon, which they have evolved, I mean to... I, I can't even explain what this is. Wampu, which normally gets compared to Tangro from the face, but instead it got Snowbat and Puppeteer, and to be fair, you can kind of see what it's doing, it's trying to cook up something. Using one of the best Powerlies, is that their name? I thought this looked like Salamon if I took my glasses off, but I didn't see any comparisons to it. But it did kind of see some shapes similar to Starmie, so I can kind of see what it's trying to do. I tried adding Pokedex images from different sites as well to try and broaden the scope, but the results just kept showing this low resolution image of Diglett and I don't know how to amend this. Do I just feed it more non-Diglett images? How do I get this off the screen? Now, I would love to speak to the algorithm because yes, Amogla and Pikachu do look like Sparky, but it also thinks Gengar and this weird Pufferfish also do, so I would love to see its explanation. The last and final test was actually using a different style of PAL image as well, because originally I was just using the Wikidex image of all of these PALs and I picked, let's just say, a wider version of Pengler, I've got it on the screen here, and all the images that it picked, I'm guessing it's saying that Pengler's a little bit fat mm. because it's picked all the wider Pokemon, let's just say, because you've got Snorlax, you've got Jigglypuff, you've got Chansey, this big balloon looking mm. thing. I mean, what, what's this algorithm trying to say? I didn't make this, by the way. But honestly, though, Power World might be taking the same level of inspiration that Pokemon has done with the Latina Cockatiel and Pikachu. So, see, you can see the, you can see the similarities in the face. What do you think of Power World stealing from Pokemon? She, she's speechless. Hey, no, 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 don't eat the, don't climb on the microphone. If you want to see the neural network that I used or even all the Power World and Pokemon comparisons that I can't fit in this short video, check out the link in the description on my GitHub or even on my Twitter.